Hello and welcome back to the Exlude Magazine YouTube channel. I am Jack as ever and you're joining me today for a very quick um, news roundup as we look at not one but two upcoming Wonder Woman 84 statues which both have seemingly received a big promotional push on the same day, on today, March 8th. So let's take a dive in, have a look. So the two companies in question are Iron Studios and Queen Studios Collectibles. Um, so two platforms that are well known for their high detail when it comes to statue releases, um, particularly Iron Studios in recent months, um, especially some of these end game releases, which we are now starting to see in the hands of collectors um, so they are really now raising that bar um, when it comes to queen studios collectibles a lot of the things we've seen from those guys is their one-to-one -one scale busts which are just uncanny when it comes to the likeness that they managed to you know they managed to realize um, so we're going to start off in this video by taking a look at the iron studios variant now this figure we did or statue i should say not figure this statue we did first glimpse it um just before the doors opened at New York Toy Fair a few weekends ago. Um, but it was just a teaser, essentially. Um, we didn't know anything else about it at that time. Well, now we do know that um, Iron Studios have this release set for December 1st of this year and a retail price of $169.99 uh, USD. Um, it is now available to pre-order over on their site. And we've also learned that this will come with two portraits. So as you're going to see on your screen, there is um, Golden Eagle helm that she's wearing and also an unmasked version as well with a different hair sculpt. Um, but that is the only interchangeable feature. The rest of the statue is, you know, one unit essentially. So, um, what do we get with the statue? Well, you can see there's a woodland themed base there. Um, obviously, you get her lasso, those wings, um, and the detail, which I mean. If you jump over to our site as well as I will have a uh, link to in the description, you can see these images um, up close and in far more detail. The actual level of detail that Iron Studios themselves managed to pack into this figure is pretty um, pretty impressive. So it will stand in at 19 centimeters tall. Um, so again, it's their one tenth art scale. So you know, in that same ballpark as many of their other releases. Um, obviously, this was previewed today, being International Women's Day. So that obviously all ties in. They have also shared a video. Um, which depending on where I edit this video, you'll either have seen it or it's going to be on your screen right now one of the two either way it will be in this video um this was a little teaser they released earlier um in the day before the full-blown pre-order um preview went live essentially so as i say very quick look at this statue from iron studios 169.99 december 1st those are your key features your key um, points to take away from this one so moving over now to as i say queen studios collectibles now they have been um affected quite recently by uh, the coronavirus situation we covered a um, statement that those guys have made in relation to some of the delays um, on their bus and their statues they do hopefully you know seem to be getting over that um, and things can creep towards normality hopefully we have seen some reports with some of the chinese manufacturers being able to return to some degree um, of work so hopefully these guys will benefit from that but this statue is actually a one half scale um, Again, it's that eagle armor that we're going to see play um, a large part in the film. I imagine it's something to do with the climatic battle with Cheetah, uh, which we're going to see obviously in our, in our next film, in Wonder Woman 84. So the images you're going to see on your screen are early 3D images from the guys at Queen Studios. And they are asking for community feedback um, to let them know how it's shaping up. So we will be keeping you up to date on this statue as we see more, hopefully, throughout the rest of the year. So as I say, just early images so far, but again... The detail, you know, that likeness there is just um, on point. It's absolutely amazing, really. The level that, the level of detail, I should say, that is able to be um, replicated these days. So there we are, two Wonder Woman statues, both coming this year. Hopefully, the Queen Studios one, no release date yet. But hopefully, this year, um, both received a big push today, big promotional push, and rightly so. So the film is set to open um, on June fifth of this year. Hopefully, it's not going to suffer from any. Any setbacks, um, you know, release-wise, release, release wise, I know the Bond film obviously has been pushed back, but hopefully this is one of the larger films which can hold its release date um, in June 5th, obviously, you know, situation dependent. But that's going to about do it. I will have all the images and a full breakdown of both of these statues up on exclude magazine.com. I will have a pop 
will have a pop. I will pop the link for you rather uh, down in the description below as ever. And do follow us over on social media to so join in the conversation. A big thank you for watching. Um, do leave a like on this video if you enjoyed today's content. Um, drop your thoughts on which of these two Wonder Woman statues you like the most down in the comments below. And also keep yourself up to date on our channel by subscribing today. Um, and I'll see you again very soon right here on the XE Magazine YouTube channel. Cheers, guys.